the philosopher. We have <gasps> the cheerleader, the power girl, the Pep high yeah. energy peppiness. Yes. But what else we have? We have the competitor. <laughs> we have the competitor, right? Yes. Tell us about the competitor. Um, basically anything I do turns into a competition, whether it's card games at home, or it's on the field, or it's who can scream the loudest at a volleyball game. It helps channel everything that I want into one game or one practice or one moment. You're all equal on this field. Like anyone can win on any certain given day. Mm -hmm. And I just love fighting for that. You tell me about this school that you love and why you love it and what are your two favorite colors. I love Pepperdine because they're blue and orange and blue and orange has been my color since I was born. I'm a Denver Broncos fan and my high school is blue and orange and now Pepperdine's blue and orange and I love this school. It's the most beautiful place in the world and it's just fantastic to be blue and orange. So people probably wonder how you maintain such high energy all the time. What fuels mm -hmm. you? When I was about 14 years old, I had a club coach that always, you know, drilled this into our heads that being negative was a waste of time and a waste of energy. And that, for some reason, always has stuck with me is you're wasting so much energy that you could be putting out for good. I like being outgoing and I like being loud. Uh, however, at I can't be up here all the time. I have to have some downtime and a way to balance that just energy that I have all the time. And I think just being able to relax and read a book or so. As much as it's a energetic and I get energized by it, I also can be slightly overwhelmed. So I always, I need some downtime. It helps me not have to like do this all the time, you know. It balances me very well to be calm at times. Not very often, but occasionally. What is it that makes you want to be that voice in the stands for your fellow, fellow athletes? Just the fact that I know what we go through day in and day out, and I know how hard it is, and I want to support my fellow waves and recognize them for what they've done. They're performing for us. When I see people in the stands and they're cheering for the waves, it just, makes the game more exciting, it makes the game more intense. So tell me a little bit about your family and then a, a bit about kind of the struggle that it's been to be away from them, but why you feel like you need to be here representing right. them. I have six kids in my family and we are all so close and leaving them was hard. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, but. I felt like I would grow as a person if I left home and there were some lessons I needed to learn and I could have only learned them had I come here. And now that I can see and have this perspective of what I was like in high school, I realized like I took my family for granted for a really long time and being away from them has helped me realize the importance of my family and the importance of the support system that they are to me. And so I want now that I'm here and I recognize the sacrifice it has taken for me to be here, I want to represent them as best I can and that's like by working hard on the field but also working hard in school because I know out of anything I could do that would make my mom like the most proud. You find out you're starting and what is going through your mind? I'm nervous but I'm so excited and I feel just extremely fortunate. That was my biggest thing is we had a lot of seniors, a lot of upperclassmen and for me to start as a freshman was like a really big like privilege and I was so ecstatic. I called my parents when we found out about the starting lineup and I told them I was starting and they were so excited but they weren't going to be able to come because I live out of state and so we, the game starts, we play and uh, we ended up, I think we ended up winning 1-0 to of that game and I remember going and just clapping to the fans and all of a sudden I look up and my parents are like, hi, and I just, I lost it. I wanted to run all the way up to the stands, but we had to like wait and like collect as a team. But afterwards, it was just the biggest, coolest thing that they could share that moment with me and be there and be that like supporting group that I've always had them be and like that they've always been for me. And it was basically the best day of my life. I played soccer, I started, 
And then my family was there to share that with me. So that was, it was great.